right? So the notes, you know, last but definitely not least, they're all very, very important. You'll notice if you take a look at the rubric, these three categories are very, very similar in weight. I'm pretty sure it's 40, 30, 30, um, to where they're equal, uh, close to equal weight. So definitely don't skimp on the notes. It is a very important section. So let's jump into that. All right, so the notes should include, again, player actions. The goal of the written notes is to fully communicate every interaction that has to be built within the level. Right, envision you are handing this uh, off, you're handing your design off to someone else in the class or someone, some other designer, and they have to build it inside Unity. So the map itself will help showcase the layout but the notes should include every single interaction that that designer has to build and the order in which that they happen in. So for every interaction, every setup, include a note. Every event that you have to script, every interaction, every scripted event should have a note. Every cutscene, every include every time you want the camera to pan or transition. And be careful with these. Don't have them all over the place. I encourage you to stick to start with one. One camera, um, one cutscene where the camera would be moving or the player's position would be moving. Um, the ones where the camera just switches to show the player a piece of information, like on a security camera or things like that, that's doable. But moving, involved cutscene, I would say stick to one and include what happens in the cutscene. Don't just say the player enters the room and then a cutscene happens. And then your next note is talking about the next room. No, tell me what the cutscene is there for. Why do you have to spend time building it? What is its purpose, right? I want the cutscene to showcase this fuel pump that is across the level that the player needs to obtain, right? Be specific what the cutscene is used for and what it's showing. Every collectible should have a cut should have a note. We went over this already in the design category that the collectibles have their own little note section that you want to fill out. And that should be included what the interaction is, right? What is the purpose of the collectible? What is it used for? How does the player obtain it? All right. Then also, again, we went over this in the previous layout video, the major mechanics. This should be copy-pasted from your LDD, but this should show the notes and the written notes of what each uh, mechanic is and the concept of introduce, practice, and master showing the three setups for each one of those. All right, then once you have your written notes, right, and have them numbered, right, you, so in the LDD, it didn't matter the order in which that they uh, occurred, right, you made your 15 minor setups, but they just were setups in the level, they weren't in a particular order. Now you want to actually put them in a logical order in which they will take place and you'll use the note numbers which are provided in the icons to specify the numbered note uh, correlating in the written section all right so some helpful tips is you can organize them by interactive area you can see some of these in the example maps that we've included in the assignment they've done this to where rather than just starting one and going one through 30 you can break it up into interactive spaces so here is the generator area and here's all the notes then they go into the control panels section and here's all the notes for that so it's easier to digest when there's smaller chunks of text than just one large block also use formatting to help you right using bold you underline words color code things label any keywords you can make things in italics make things stand out and could be easy to understand and catch keywords if you're connecting them with other parts or other areas uh, in the in the map or other ways to signify feel free to format things any way you'd like to help communicate your vision all right and definitely last but not least be detailed with this again focus on player actions focus on the details for your setups you should be able to read them back and uh, you should be able to visualize what that interaction is, right? The player picks up a crate with the Gravnol, they carry the crate over to the pressure plate. It, when the pressure plate is activated, a door is lowered, they're able to uh, jump across a gap and walk through that open door, right? That whole sentence, you could visualize every single interaction that the player, 
the player does throughout that section. Try and be that detailed. I know it's tough, right? It's a new set of skills we have to develop, but that's what we're doing this for, and that's why we have time to improve it before we actually build this inside Unity. And then I'll definitely mention I am checking for spelling and grammar, so just please proofread your work to make sure that you don't lose any points for that. All right, so here's some examples of part of the map itself with the notes correlated with it. So here you can see here's a small, very small sample of a student map to where here is the player path labeled in blue, the optional path is in white, and then we have the note numbers, right? And the note numbers um, connect to the written notes, right? So here is the note block for the entry hallway to where we have notes one, two, and three, and we can see, right, right at note one, here is the, the, the note that, that is connected to what happens at that specific point in the level. So when you're completing your notes and you're putting in your note numbers, definitely keep, stay conscious of the distance between them, right? If you see a long stretch of there's a big part of the player path and there's no note numbers, what that's portraying is that the player is just walking without doing anything else. So the note numbers are a great, a great way, going back to the design, um, to look at your density in the level, right? You shouldn't see a long stretch where there's no note numbers and there's nothing happening where the player is just walking. So be conscious of that. If you see a long stretch of just walking, try and include some type of interaction, some progression in there, or just shorten the distance between them, right? You can do a few different things when those situations come up. It's up to you to decide. You can reduce the amount of space or you can add content into that space. Alrighty, then the reference images. Again, this should be done from the flowchart. If not, it's fine. We still have time to do so, but include at least one interactive, one image per interactive area, right? Going back to breaking up the level into interactive spaces or into sections of the map where objectives or tasks are completed. Um, focus on including at least one image per area, right? Again, focus on environmental shots. Giving me a picture of what the crate looks like that you're going to have in your level doesn't help me visualize what the level will look like itself, right? So focus on environmental images. And here's a few other examples, right? So you can use uh, any resource for this, you can uh, document where you got your reference images from inside your LDD. Um, and then you'll see you'll link your LDD onto your map. So all of the information will um, be inside of one another. So again, focus on environmental images uh, to help communicate the overall vision. So in the visuals assignment, I gave you an image. Right? And I said, use this image as your inspiration to communicate um, or use this image as inspiration to build an environment inside of Unity, right? So you probably learned a lot about the challenges that that faces, about how you have to fill in the gaps and uh, just use as inspiration um, to recreate that inside Unity. Now you're finding your own images, right? I provided you one, you're going to, you made it. Now you're gonna be finding your own images and then hopefully using those um, to help break down and visualize how to actually build this in 3D space. 